What's up everyone? This is Erica with Hooking You Up and today we're going to do another daisy pattern. Now I'm going to do the same exact pattern. If you haven't checked out this video using Craft Smart yarn, a smaller weight, I'll have it listed in the description below or I'll have it up here. Um, so feel free to go check that out. However, today we're doing the same exact pattern only we're going to be doing it and thick and wool yarn okay so you can see the difference this one's much smaller and this one's thicker and sturdier this one would be perfect for kids or if you just have a phone or something easy you want to put in it but anyways um, we're gonna go ahead and do that tutorial today okay So what you're going to need is some white yarn. I couldn't find like a regular yellow in thick and wool, so I'm just going to be using this golden color. And uh and then a base color. And I'm going to use blue because I think blue is just so beautiful with daisy colors. Okay, and I'm using a size 6.5 millimeter hook. You'll need a tapestry needle and some scissors. Okay, let's jump right into it. We're going to start by making the head. So the center. We're going to start by making a magic ring. And chain two. Now we're going to make 12 double crochet in the center hole. One, that chain two does not count. Two, three, four, five, and I'll meet you at 12. Once you finish 12, you're going to pull that tail tight to close the center, and then you're going to slip stitch on the top of that double crochet. Chain one, and clip. Now you wanna go ahead and do two more for a total of three, and I have my other two here. Okay, so now we're done with the yellow. We're gonna go ahead and bring in the white, We're going to start by making a slip knot. And we're going to start right where we left off. Chain one. I like to tie that tail with the working yarn for extra security. Chain two. Now we're going to yarn over twice. Insert in that same hole, pull the working yarn up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert in that same hook, pull the working yarn up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three stitches on the hook. We're going to do it one more until we have four stitches on the hook. Yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all four. Chain one. You're going to do it again, yarn over twice, insert in the next, on the top of the next double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over twice, pull through two, pull through two, and once you have four stitches on your hook, you'll yarn over and pull through all four, making sure to chain one in between each petal. And you're going to do this in the round until you have 12. So I'll meet you there, 12 petals. So we have two right here, and I'll meet you at the end. 
Once you finish your 12 petals, you're going to slip on the top of that double crochet where we started. Chain one and slip or cut. Now we're done with the white. So make sure you do all your petals on all, you want a total of three, okay? Now you're going to bring in your base color. So I already did these two. Look how beautiful that color is. Okay, we're going to start by making a slip knot. And you're going to insert it in the middle of these two petals. I like to keep all my weaved ends in the same area. So I'm going to start, so in between, first two petals we're going to bring that working yarn in chain one and I like to tie the tail with the working yarn for extra support chain two now you're going to make two double crochet in that same space that chain two will count as a set of three double crochet Chain one, three more double crochet in between those two petals. Chain one. In between the next two petals, you're going to do three double crochet. Chain one. In between the next two, three double crochet. Chain one, and now we're working our second corner. So we're going to do three double crochet in between the next two petals. Chain one, three more double crochet in between those petals. Chain one, and now we're working down our next side. So we're going to do a set of three double crochet in between the next two petals. Chain one, another set of three double crochet. Now we're going to work our third corner. And you're going to repeat until you have four corners that each consist of two sets of three double crochet with a chain one in between and each side should contain two sets of three double crochet with a cha chain one in between and I'll meet you guys at the end and now we're going to slip on the top of that first double crochet where we started slip stitch on the second and slip stitch where that chain one space is. Chain two, and now we're working our first corner in the second row. So again, we're going to do two double crochet because that chain two will count as three, a set of three. Chain one, three double crochet in that same space. Chain one, so only the first row is going to contain two sets of three double crochet. Um, the entire first row will all consist of groups of three double crochet. For the second row, and if you make it any bigger, any other rows after that, only the corners will consist of two sets of three double crochet. But the sides will only be two double, two double crochets as sets. So let me show you what I mean. You see how I only have two double crochets for all the sides? So for the second row only and any row after that, all the sides will consist of two double crochets. But all the corners for every row that you do will stay the same and consist of three sets or one set of 
three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So we'll do two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, one more set of two double crochet to complete that side, chain one, and then we'll complete our second row. So you'll go ahead and continue that until you land back where we started. Okay, we're going to slip on the top of that first double crochet where we started, that second double crochet and that chain one space. Chain one, you're going to cut off a good sized tail. Okay, so make sure you have three total. Okay, now we're going to connect these like a V. Make sure all the weaved end sides are faced in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and connect this one. So this will be the same as the other videos if you guys been watching, but we're only going to, we're going to make sure they're all lined up evenly. And we're only going to insert through the top. So we're not going through both the loops. We're just going through the top of each side. It's kind of hard to see because this is a dark color, but you want to make sure they're lined up nice and even. So the chain one space, we're only going through the two top stitches. Okay, and I like to hold one side and just pull that tight. So you're going to sew all three like this, like a V. Now we're going to flip it over and you're going to fold this bottom piece in and then this corner in. I don't think this is going to be long enough so I'm going to clip and just add my own in that chain one space. I'm just going to add my own working yarn. Okay. All right, so make sure all the corners are lined up. So because I'm starting where this chain one space is, I, that means I have to insert in this chain one space. Okay. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing to this side. So this is what it should look like when you have all three pieces together. 
Now, I don't like how this little gap is. I like it nice and clean. So what I do is I clip two working pieces. Attach my tapestry needle. And I insert through the front. Wait. Through the back of one side. And through the inside of the other. Like that. And then I like to go down the middle. Through the inside. And then I'll just tie it inside. They're much better. Now I'll do the same thing to this side and then we'll do the strap and be done. Okay, now we're going to do the strap. I'm going to start by making a slip knot. And I'm going to chain Sixty one. Now we're going to double crochet in that second stitch from the hook. And we're going to double crochet in each stitch until we make our way back where we started. Once you've made it to the end, now you're going to chain one and flip your work. And now we're going to make a double crochet in each stitch all the way down. Until we end up back here. Now you're going to chain one and cut off a tail. Okay, so making sure it's all faced one way, we're going to go ahead and attach our tapestry needle. And just like we did the squares, we're going to start where that chain two spaces and we're just going to slip. And then you can weave in the inside.
Okay, and we're going to do the same to the other side. Now we're going to need to add our tail. Okay, and I'll meet you guys at the end. And there you go. Look how beautiful that is. I love the daisy one even more. Comment below which one you guys like more. Well, there you have it. We have the Daisy one. Now, if you're new to my channel, you're just seeing this video. In the description, I'll, I'll put the sunflower version as well, so you can do both. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.